Hello everybody, welcome. On October 8th, we've got a new moon in Libra at 15 degrees and 48 minutes. Now Libra has everything to do with your relationships, to do with love, to do with how you find balance in your life. And very often Libras find it very difficult to make decisions because if you think of Libra, it's about the scales, balancing the scales. And don't think if you're not a Libra that this doesn't apply to you because somewhere in your chart, you will have Libra. So every month when I do these videos for the new moon and the full moon, it will fall somewhere in your chart. So even if the sign doesn't relate to you automatically and you don't say, oh, I'm a Libra, I'm a Taurus, whatever, somewhere the moon energy will be activated in a life area. Could be finances, could be relationships, could be family, home. There are many possibilities. And you might want to check out my video on YouTube about the houses if you're not sure about the different houses. I've done a video uh, probably about a year or so ago about the houses that you can find on YouTube for free. So now getting back to this energy here of Libra. Wherever this new moon falls in your chart, you'll be seeking to readdress the balance in that life area. Venus ruler of Libra is retrograde, went retrograde, uh, goes retrograde on the 5th of October and will stay retrograde until the 16th of November. Initially retrograde in Scorpio and then retrograding right back into its ruler Libra. So what does this mean when Venus is retrograde? Well, for Scorpio energy, it would rule everything to do with reassessing your finances and especially anything to do with loans, investments, assets, inheritance, pension, taxes, partnerships, business partnerships. All of these may need to be reassessed during this period and with it being a new moon in Libra it's time to look at new ways of maybe handling everything connected with your finances. And you might have to dig a little because uh, Venus in Scorpio digs. It's not something on the surface. You might need to research your options that are available to you with anything to do with your financial situation. And it'll be worth the effort. Venus retrograde, it's time to really look at what your possible options are. You might feel really stuck in your finances and it's time to dig out possible options that you can't see just on a surface glance. And then retrograding back into Libra, asking to look at love, how you love, how you feel, uh, you balance your needs in relationships, there is also Venus ruler is square to Mars. There could be sexual tension going on here. It could be a really strong pull to somebody that might not be so good for you, or it might be causing you anxiety or butterflies. And also it gives you an opportunity to look at how you respond in relationships. And these could just be everyday type relationships, not necessarily your spouse or your intimate relationship. I had it recently when I got into a taxi. I had toothache and I got in the taxi and the minute I got in, he turned the music, rock music, loud buzzing in my tooth. So I asked the taxi driver, could you please turn it off? And he said to me, no, I don't want to turn it off. And I was like, a little astonished at that response. So um, I said, well, if you don't want to turn it off, then just drop me off. Thank you. That was my knee jerk response. Right, I'm getting out of here. So he said, well, I have to charge you the full fare. 
and we'd gone about 50 yards. So I said, well, I don't think that's very fair. This Libra energy coming up. I felt myself, whoa, all my reactions were coming up. My needs were not being met. So he stopped. And I said to him, can we do a reset? Because always during a retrograde is an opportunity for a resetting. Yes, it's like when you reboot your computer sometimes, a program that wasn't working can work again. So I said to him, hey, let's calm this now. Um, can we start fresh? Would you mind turning music on? Is it a problem? And he said, well, actually, he said, I've been working for 16 hours. He said, I'm really tired and the music helps me to stay awake. And immediately I could see his side of the situation. All my needs dropped away. He listened to the fact that I had toothache and was going to the dentist. And then he didn't want to put the music on. And we had a great conversation after that and a lovely connection. So maybe I'm just sharing that. Maybe you can look at your knee-jerk responses and see that this new moon in Libra will give you an opportunity to find harmony because Libra above all wants to find harmony between you and me because ultimately um, we want similar things we all want to feel good we all want to have peacefulness inside and outside so I'm just suggesting that here at the time of this new moon and you may do it in your uh, relationships where there is even more of an emotional charge potentially in the closer ones got a lovely aspect ruler Venus is making a lot of aspects here so Venus money and relationships are the theme of this new moon new beginnings new opportunities it's trying to Neptune this is very romantic this is very creative this is sensitive it's compassionate so this is about bringing about your compassion. I saw the osteopath recently and he pressed a point on my back, definitely unintentionally, but I screamed out in pain. And when I got up from the table, I couldn't walk. Now I'd walked into his offices quite easily. I couldn't get out. I was hobbling. And he of course felt terrible about it. And I just realized, you know, there's no point in blaming. He hadn't done something intentionally to hurt me. And he has done everything. He's visited my home every night for the last week, doing acupuncture, giving me support, bringing me food and drink and ointments and all kinds of things to take care of me. That's this beautiful aspect of really doing whatever you can if something has happened to take care of another person and it diffuses any kind of negative energy and it can be very very healing so I've experienced a lot of healing despite being in quite a lot of pain from the experience just the softness the caring that I've been shown has definitely accelerated the healing of my back. So it's an opportunity to really accelerate healing at this time, healing of relationships where things could be really um, aggravated and irritated. I think this retrograde gives you an opportunity to take another view. We've got a square to Pluto, a lot going on at the time of this new moon, probably one of the longest videos I'm doing. The square to Pluto here. This can bring about obsessive uh, emotions. You might feel as though you're magnetized to a situation. You can't get out of a relationship. You keep getting drawn back into it. This is an opportunity for deep transformational growth for you at this time to see uh, where you are uncontrollably acting. Yes, where you are compulsive about going to your phone. Have I got messages? You're compulsive about having to call someone, to text someone. 
Where are you out of control? And where do you need to find this lovely Libra balance once again? Libra once again, always trying to see another person's perspective. Many of you from my last video said you thought I was very rude not to talk to the man in the park when I was very focused upon my yoga and meditation. And many others of you said you thought that was great. Showing me once again, you cannot please everybody. Libra truly wants to please everybody. And maybe during this retrograde, you'll realize that pleasing yourself is perhaps the most important thing because then you're authentic and then people know they can trust you and believe you. But you also have an opportunity with the retrograde to see your behaviors and to reset and make some positive changes. So here is your painting for the time for this new moon. And maybe you can see just that scorpionic energy, the black, the going deep, the reds, the passion, and also the desire for balance. So I hope you enjoy that. And I wish you a wonderful new moon in Libra. May you find peace in your relationship with yourself and with others. Thank you very much for sharing, commenting, subscribing and liking. Bye for now.